Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel Corruption. My name is Christopher and today we're going to be opening up some Pokemon cards. I am very excited because I actually have not opened up these boxes before and I know they've been out for a while but I got the Venusaur and the Blastoise battle box. So what comes in here is going to be basically your VMAX versions of Venusaur and Blastoise and we're going to take a look at those promo cards which is actually really cool because they finally do have the addition to the Charizard that I've been seeking for basically months now. However, this is just the standard VMAX version. So it's going to be really cool that I can actually add the other two to the collection and I don't know, like for some reason in my mind, like I really wish they weren't promo cards but at the same time, it's still really cool that they're out and accessible to get. However, if there's going to be a way where we can actually get shinies of them eventually and also you can get the rainbow versions of them too, I would love to have a collage of all three of them side by side together and I think that would be really cool. So this is the first step of getting the other two and who knows, maybe in the future they're going to come out with the other versions of them as well. So without further ado, I'm going to crack these bad boys open because not only that, we do also get our jumbo card in there and there's four packs inside of different series. So I'm going to open up this bad boy and let's see what we got. So our Venusaur VMAX beautiful card here, which is absolutely stunning. A massive flower on his head. Really happy to finally get this. Now I think I ended up getting two boxes. This was the first one because I only found one and the centering is slightly off, which had kind of bugged me. So I was just like, I have to find another one. The other box that I have does have a slightly better centering on it, but we're just happy to add that to the collection in general. And there's the code card that comes with the box. And then not only that, we have our massive jumbo card, which I can finally add to my little binder of jumbo cards because I do not have this one yet either. So that's a nice little addition that we do get here. What else comes in the box is Venusaur VMAX sleeves. Looks like it's the matte styling as well, but you've got the nice Venusaur on the back and you get four booster packs. So two battle styles, one darkness ablaze and one sun and moon. Sun and moon just seems to just get thrown into a lot of boxes. So <laughs> that doesn't really surprise me. All right, now we're on to Blastoise. This one I'm kind of most excited about. Venusaur is kind of my last of the top three. Goes probably, I don't know, like I Obviously supposed to have like your favorite, like, but Squirtle and Charizard are very, very close on my favorite like category of like who I like better. It, it, it is very, very tough choice. Like, Char like Charmander, Charizard and all that probably would be number one, but Blastoise is a very close second with Squirtle too. So opening this up, finally found the Blastoise box too. And this is the VMAX card that we have in it. Now, centering is looking pretty good for this card, which I'm really liking. And that was kind of one of the main things that I was looking for when buying this box. Little bit thicker on this side than the other, but it's very minor. The only thing that you can't check out is the back of the cards. And yes, yeah, so a little bit thicker on the left side, but still, again, very minimal. All right, so that is our Blastoise and Venusaur promo cards that we can add to our collection. Really, really cool artworks. Honestly, stunning. Love that. And then this bad boy. Massive Blastoise VMAX card, which looks freaking wicked too. If I didn't give that to you yet, there you go. That's the code card. Also do get same packs inside this. So two battle styles, Darkness of Blaze, and Sun and Moon. Don't forget, our sleeves. Matt as well. Let's dive into this. Let's see what we got. We're going to start off with our Sun and Moon first. That's probably the least uh, exciting pack that we have. I really have not pulled a lot of Darkness Ablaze. I have pulled the Charizards in Darkness Ablaze. I have two of them. So if we can grab a third, that'd be freaking amazing. And then on this box opening with the other VMAXs, we had all three of them to put that by side together. That'd be pretty sweet. In Battle Styles, I honestly do not have a whole lot of. I still need a whole bunch of hits out of it. I literally have only pulled the alternate artwork, Yershifu V, and that's the only one I've gotten. I really do want the Tyranitar, but let's just start this off and see if we can even get anything of any significance that's really really cool decidui sun and moon oh my goodness okay ah, sun and moon always 
Always disappointing. Fire energy. That fire energy actually looks pretty cool. I have not opened a lot of Sun and Moon, so these artworks are actually pretty new to me. Aw, oh, Drowsy just chilling, on, walking down the beach. <sighs> kind of looks like he's doing the same. Pokeball, Reverse Hollow, and our little fishy. First back from Sun and Moon was very disappointing. Hopefully we can at least get a hit from each. That would be like a an all right hit. I say a hit, but... Ooh. I mean, we did get a white code card. That'd be funny if it just like came in right off the bat, giving us like the best, best pulls. However, ooh, rat attack, Viral. a lot of originals. First hollow and Sharpedo. All right, Sharpedo, hollow, that looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, we didn't get a full art or anything like that from Sun and Moon, which would be pretty cool because Again, I don't actively open Sun and Moon. However, if I could have gotten something cool, that would have been awesome. But nah. We're gonna do the Charizard pack after this one because nothing like trying to get a trifecta. This can be our only opportunity to do so. So hopefully, I don't know, it'd be pretty cool. I'll take Charizards on either of these though. Again, I still am missing a lot, so who knows? Anything else would also work too. Wishiwashi. Man. Oh my god, Feebass just drowning in water. Boom! No way! All right, Butterfree VMAX. Here we go. Yo, that is actually a sick Butterfree. You don't get a lot of Butterfrees anymore. So that is actually really sweet that we ended up pulling one. And that looks freaking wicked. Centering, great. Condition overall looks pretty good. There might be a little bit of whitening there, but at the same time, yeah, I'll take it. All right, two random freaking Darkness of Blaze packs. I'll definitely take that hit. One that I don't have? Yes, please. All right, trifecta opportunity. What do we got here? Charizard, can we do it? And I'm probably gonna reveal green coat. Ooh, oh wait, that was really weird. Typically I have to flip those, so that's kind of interesting that it was already pre-flipped. Because I could have just revealed <laughs> the code card if I was going to open it the way I was going to. Alright. Kapant. Wishy-washy. Roll it. Reverse holo. Ooh, flag on. Okay. Wow, those two reverse hollows were exactly the same in both those packs. Okay. Alright. Alright. But here we go. We're going to end this pack opening with Battle Styles. Haven't opened Battle Styles in a little bit. Obviously, we've been riding that chilling rain train. And you know what? It's been okay. All right. Pull rates are extremely difficult, which is very frustrating. But at the same time, we have pulled some good pulls out of it. Definitely want some more alternate artworks. However, Crobat, Hollow. Okay, that's, that's an interesting one. Don't have you yet. I'm actually pretty sure I do not have you yet, so that's okay. Let's uh, let's try not to waste our uh, white code cards for stuff like that. Let's get some hits. That's what we're all here to see. Uh, oof. Yeah, it's so weird that I don't have to flip the code cards. All right, Battle Styles. Number two, Fire Energy. I think I see a little something back there. What's it gonna be? Reverse holo. Boom! Tapa Coco. All right, well, that's just a regular, regular V card, but I don't know if I actually have this. I do have the rainbow of this card, I'm pretty sure, though, so that's really sweet. You should check that video out. Uh, I ended up getting into Pokey Rev's pack opening, and I did a reaction video to it, and he pulled that one for me. I'm pretty sure it was Tapa Coco, if I'm not mistaken. All right, second last pack. I was real excited too. It was, it was real good. But before the cards even came out, jumped in on that. That was exciting. And, oof, wait. There you go. I don't know if, uh, just flipping the code card and I feel like I flipped that one. 
Ooh, reverse holo rare. So this is actually something that I have started to clue into, and I don't know if you guys caught it on my other video the other day, is green cards have an extremely high expectation to pull reverse holo rares. We're gonna test this theory right here. It's not every time, but I ended up doing a Wade video for Chilling Rain and a lot of my green cards were reverse holo rares. So, very suspicious how that worked out. However, let's see if we can prove that. Okay, apparently, apparently not. Not every time, however, a lot of the time it works all the time no <laughs> but yeah i have noticed that a lot of the time reverse all the rares it will actually be in the green card slot so that does it for today's video not a crazy amount of hits today however honestly i was just actually shocked that we ended up a vmax belter free that's freaking wicked we did end up getting a nice v card a couple hollows i again i wasn't expecting too much however i did want to open them to get these two and I can add that to my collection. So, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And hopefully we have some really good pulls coming up real soon. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel for our upcoming videos. Thank you for always tuning in. And like always, you have a good one. And we'll see you on the next one.